Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the AEW Women's World Championship Eliminator Tournament. I am Excalibur, and I will be joined a little bit later on by Taz to call all the action for you here tonight. Last night, we saw Ryo Mizunami advance to the overall tournament finals, which will take place this Wednesday night on Dynamite, 8, 7 Central on TNT. However, tonight, tournament competitor Legit Layla Hirsch will be in action as she takes on Miranda Alizé. And another non-tournament matchup we have for you here tonight, Miss Reality, Maddie Renkowski, will take on the librarian, Leva Bates. But in our main event, we will see the finals of the U.S. bracket as Thunder Rosa takes on former AEW Women's World Champion Nyla Rose. That will be later on tonight, but let's not delay and get right to the action. This contest is set for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Approaching the ring from Fairvale, California, Leva Bates. So what if they blast this song from the library while she's at the library with the books? You know? Oh, I know, Tess. I know. Oh, I know you know. And her opponent from Calabasas, California, Maddie Renkowski. Before this match gets underway, I want to let everyone know that starting tomorrow at 1 p.m. Eastern, the Revolution Weekend sale kicks off. Save 20% on shopaew.com with promo code REVOLUTION. The sale lasts through March 8th, so don't miss your chance to save 20% at shopaew.com. I want to give a tip of the cap to Maddie Renkowski, who filled in for Anna J. Anna suffering that severe shoulder injury. It'll keep her out of, the, out of action for a number of months. Maddie Renkowski filled in, took on Dr. Britt Baker in the opening round. Maddie, well, we saw this last time. Oh, she <laughs> threw right at her. And the side. Oh, oh wow. Maddie Renkowski just got rocked by that thrust kick by Leva Bates. Leva Bates diving crossbody off the apron. And I, I was gonna say, yeah, you see, you heard her. Maddie had a had a bit of a boost, uh, even even though she got battered by Dr. Britt Baker. You know, still a boost of confidence to be able to compete in a in a tournament as sure. prestigious as that. But as a replacement, yeah, yeah. But uh, you know, and I mean, unfortunately, she for Maddie, she wasn't able to win. But you know, I mean, it still really says a lot about how long she's come in her short career. I agree. Only wrestling what about a year and a half, two years, something like that, somewhere in that vicinity, correct? Yeah, yeah. And uh, Maddie Renkowski, of course, a student of Thunder Rosa. That's right. As Leva Bates suplex there. A lot of saturation on that suplex, Taz. Yeah, a lot of saturation for maybe the Northern Lights here. High pin, no. Just a two count there for Leva Bates. that long hair, you know, uh, does Matty Rikowski. You know, when a Northern Lights suplex, you gotta be careful. I'll tell you a quick story about La Champion, Chris Jericho. I Northern Lights suplexed him once many years ago in Philadelphia. Stepped on his hair while I see him the lion mane. Remember that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Lionheart Jones. Matty Rikowski, though, right there, dropped off the apron. Two, no, uh, guillotine Leva Bates' throat on that top rope, and now oh. Matt, Matty Renkowski laying in some right-hand shots. I like this Matty Renkowski. There's something about it I like. Oh! Sliding lariat here. Hooks both legs. Two, no. She brings a lot of fight in her match. She's got a swagger about her, confidence about her. Well, and Taz, I mean, she's really ratcheted up the intensity since uh, since that match with, the, with Britt Baker in the tournament. Yeah, she has. I mean, that, to the point you're making, probably gave her more, much more confidence. Oh. Ooh. Ooh, what a chop. Chop to the chest, swing and a miss. Swing and a miss. But that one landed. Ooh, to the midsection, Leva. Kick to the side of the head. He's rocked, Natty is rocked. It was Leva wearing bowling shoes, Taz, because that kick was right on target. That was funny. Oh, another kick. The Bulldog by Leva Bates driving Maddie Renkowski down. Hooks the far leg to no. And Taz, you, you have to imagine when Maddie Renkowski watched the match with Britt Baker back. Yes. She, I mean, the things you do when you lose, you're like, what was I missing? Oh, the sure. you could thrust learn kick. From it. That was a nice thrust kick for sure. You could learn from what you did wrong. Small oh, package. Small package here. Two, no. Renkowski turns the tables. Two, no. You know, I always felt it's not a loss, total loss, if you learn from it. Oh, Leva Bates 
Driven face, first of the canvas, one, two, no. Yeah, and that's, uh, I mean, that's the hallmark of a, a true competitor. You look at a loss as an opportunity to grow. Oh, don't do it. Oh, whoa, did you see that? Haven't there been? Oh, what's going on here? Haven't the Young Bucks suffered enough indignities? <laughs> Leva Bates sweeping the leg out. Hammering Renkowski with right hands. That's the Buck Buck? That is the Young Young Bucks. <laughs> Book uh, killing the business from the backyards to the big leagues. Available in stores now. But I don't remember my copy having a green uh, jacket like that. Hmm. Oh, it's a special one. That's the Masters edition. Oh! <laughs> oh, she clobbered her! And the referee, uh, Mr. Gasno, did not see it. Two, three. Wow! What a shot. The winner of this match. Matty Renkowski. She won that thing when she was Joe DiMaggio back in the day. Taz, Matty Renkowski got mean here. And she, by virtue yeah, of that, I love it, got the victory. It's good stuff. Right to oh, that swing. Oh, I mentioned oh, oh, uh, Joe oh. D. I don't think anybody watches this on YouTube said so don't even know Joe DiMaggio is. They're all too young. She was swinging for the fences. There you go. Like Hank Aaron. You know Joe D. Will. I know who Joe Demond is. Oh, Maddie Renkowski. Maddie! Picking up her first victory in all elite yes. wrestling. Maddie Renkowski notches her first career AEW victory. You have to imagine her trainer, Thunder Rosa, is pleased, but she will have to have her focus on the U.S. Finals when Thunder Rosa faces Nyla Rose in our main event. But coming up next, tournament participant, legit Layla Hirsch goes one-on-one -on -one with Miranda Alizé. My God, this is This contest is set for one fall with a 20-minute time limit. Approaching the ring originally from Moscow, Russia, legit Layla Hirsch. Legit Layla Hirsch returning to action here tonight on AEW Dark. She's really made a name for herself. In the brief amount of time she has been in the AEW Women's Division, Taz. No, she really has. She brings a lot of uh, a lot of fierce intensity during her matches. She's got really good athleticism. And her opponent from Houston, Texas, Miranda Alizé. Miranda Alizé still looking for her first career victory in AEW. Well, the bell has rung, but before the action picks up, I want to remind everyone that starting tomorrow at 1 p.m. Eastern, the Revolution Weekend sale kicks off on ShopAEW.com. You can save 20% with promo code REVOLUTION. The sale lasts through Monday, March 8th, so don't miss your chance to save 20% at ShopAEW.com. And speaking of Revolution, the big pay-per-view event takes place this Sunday. March 7th, live on pay-per-view and Fight TV. That is Sunday, March 7th. We will see the AEW Women's World Championship decided as Hikaru Shida will take on either Rio Mizunami, Thunder Rosa, or Nyla Rose. All of that, so much more. An exploding barbed wire match for the AEW World Championship. Kenny Omega and John Moxley, a lot going on this Sunday, March 7th. As we see uh, legit Layla Hirsch taking a, taking a little bit of a breather there. And that was smart right there of Hirsch to get out of the ring, slow down the momentum. Slide out by Alizé. Hirsch comes back in, hits the ropes, and uh, oh, a knee to the side of the head. Well, I felt like uh, Layla was starting to control the pace by going out of the ring, but it was smart by Alizé to do what she did there to stop. Layla from controlling the pace. Running elbow strike in the corner. Yeah, it seemed like Layla Hurst was looking for a, a bit of a reset there. But Alizé able to bring, uh, uh, to, to speed up that metronome more to her pace. Shoulders to the midsection here. Free Paul Turner trying to get Alizé out of the corner. Miranda Alizé sweeping out the legs of Layla Hirsch, but Layla Hirsch charging in a drop kick. Explosive right there with that drop kick by Hirsch. Got to try to follow up now. That is uh, 
one of the keys of Layla's offense that we've seen over the past few weeks is that, you know, she's got that great, uh, that great folk style wrestling background, Taz, but, uh, you know, she's not afraid to fly a little bit. No, she's not. I also think her knee strikes are underrated. You'll see at times her throw some nice knees, and they're underrated. Let's see what she's got here. Miranda Alize is one coming up. there. You called it, Taz. Yeah, well, I've done this before. I hear you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, brain buster by Layla Hirsch. One, two, no. Miranda Alize able to kick out. Yeah, but Alize, I give her credit for kicking out, but she is far from 100% right now. No, that was a, a tough, tough landing. No doubt. On the brain buster. Layla eating some elbows there, courtesy of Miranda Alize. Swinging a miss. The ripcord into the wow. knee strike. Her own knee. Yeah, talk about some heavy shots here. Miranda Alize creating some distance. Coming. Oh, what the corkscrew heck? elbow Jeez. drop. One, two, no. Layla able to kick out. Yeah, I'm not sure exactly if she landed that the way she wanted to land it. You might want to come across on the splash motion. I'm assuming that's what she tried to do. Oh, look. Ah, she got that in immediately. Yeah. Immediately. She tapped out. No winner of this match. Holy shit. Layla. I think she, I, I feel like Alize was going to go for a cutter of sorts. It was a nice counter in midair by Hirsch to, to hook her on bar. I think that was well done right there by Layla. I like that. That was a, a very quick end to that matchup. I mean, yeah, she went for a cutter. See that? Yeah. And and Layla, you can see uh, Miranda Alize immediately tapping out. That cross arm breaker was locked in. Yeah, once that Juji Katami or cross arm breaker is locked in, that bicep gets pulled apart, the elbow joint gets pulled apart, you gotta tap. Coming up this Sunday night, that is right, Sunday night, March 7th, AEW presents Revolution live on pay per view. In one of the most anticipated matchups of the entire year, Brian Cage and Ricky Starks of Team Taz will go to war with Sting and the TNT champion Darby Allen in a street fight. And for the first time ever, the Casino Tag Team Royale with the winners earning a shot at the AEW World Tag Team Championship. And speaking of the AEW World Tag Team Championship, it will be MJF and Chris Jericho challenging the Young Bucks for the titles. A lot of bad blood in this matchup. And the big money match with Hangman Adam Page taking on Matt Hardy. The winner gets 100% of the loser's Q1 revenue. What a stipulation. We will also see Miro and Kip Sabian take on Orange Cassidy and Chuck Taylor. This one is about revenge. And six competitors will square off in the face of the Revolution ladder match with the winner getting a shot at Darby Allen and the TNT Championship. The AEW Women's World Championship will be on the line with the champion Hikaru Shida defending against the overall winner of the AEW Women's World Championship Eliminator Tournament. And the AEW World Championship will be on the line in perhaps the most dangerous match we've ever seen, an exploding barbed wire death match between Kenny Omega and John Moxley for the AEW World Championship. You are not going to want to miss Revolution Live this Sunday, March 7th on Pay-Per-View and Fight TV. We have arrived at the penultimate match in the AEW Women's World Championship Eliminator Tournament. We know Ryo Mizunami will be participating in the finals this Wednesday night on Dynamite. But who will her opponent be? Thunder Rosa or Nyla Rose? We will find out next in the U.S. Bracket Finals. is the final match in the American bracket of the Women's World Championship and Eliminator Tournament, set for one fall with a 20-minute time limit. Entering the ring from the graveyards of Tijuana, Mexico, Thunder Rosa! Taz, big time stakes for this matchup. The finals on the U.S. side of the bracket. Yeah, it's huge, huge. I'm amped up, this will fired up. Thunder Rosa, the Golden State Warriors. Uh, yeah, you see that? She picked up a huge victory over Riho in the semifinals.
and her opponent from Washington, D.C., the native beast, Nyla Rose. But this woman, the former AEW Women's World Champion, Nyla Rose, on Dynamite last week, defeated Dr. Britt Baker in an absolute war. Yeah, it was not easy, but Nyla got it done. And Nyla immediately calling on Thunder Rosa. She wants her in the ring. She wants to do battle. And Taz. Because these are two athletes that are heavy hitters, as you know, Excalibur. Absolutely no back down in either competitor. Yeah, this is this is big. High stakes, right? This is a big moment, big match. Calling her about tie up. Nyla using her strength advantage there. You notice how Thun Rosa, Thunder Rosa not rushing in, backed off, stayed back. Eye up and down. Nyla Rose would like nothing more than a chance at Hikaru Shida at Revolution on Sunday, March 7th, and a chance to reclaim the AEW Women's World Championship. But the Thunder Rosa, though, would love a rematch with Hikaru Shida as well. That would be a, a rematch from all out. Well, as we know, one of these women, we don't know which one, is going to go on to the finals and get an opportunity to be the AEW Women's World Champion. They both, Nyla and Rosa, have been ultra impressive throughout this tournament, though. Whoever is victorious here tonight will have one more match in the Women's Eliminator Tournament. It will be the overall finals. Right. Ooh, that's Thunder Rosa. Smart, smart strategy right there. Quick we kicks. Those legs. Yeah, with those yeah. round kicks. Yeah, chopping at the the leg of Thunder Rosa, or excuse me, the, the leg of Nyla Rose, really looking to tax that iliotibial band. Swing and a miss there by Nyla Rose. Thunder Rosa crossbody gets caught. Uh-oh, Rose is in trouble. Nyla Rose making it look easy, bringing Thunder Rosa up. Rosa escapes into the waist lock. But not, oh, swing and a miss by Nyla. Yeah, and it, back to those legs, but those round kicks, not off that hamstring. And that's that, that kickboxing background that Thunder Rosa employs in mixed martial arts. Uh-oh. Got Guzu by the throat right here, man. And, oh, look at this, Thunder Rosa, though. Counters. The knee bar. Yeah, no, ankle lock. Ankle lock, but she's got, got the, the knee bar. Yeah, the knee captured it, yeah. as well. Yep. I'd like to see that ankle get twisted a little bit. I think that's what Rosa wants to do. She can't get the ankle twisted all the way to foot, I should say. Yeah, if she, would, if, if she were to bring the uh, the top of Nyla's foot over to the to the right side of the face of Thunder Rosa's face, well, it's all a moot point now. Sure, is Nyla right. able to power out of it? You know, if people think it's so easy to hook a submission the right way. It's not sure for a single leg that didn't work. It's not. You got to get have really quick hands, and if your opponent moves a certain way, you can't lock. Your hands or, the, or the, the, that Ooh. limb the way you want. Drop to a hold. Nyla oh, went for the, the elbow drop. And, and Taz, I mean, you better than most can attest to this. When you're trying for a submission hold, your opponent is fighting you the entire way. Absolutely. And sometimes, and you know, sometimes they're fighting without moving their leg or arm a lot, just a little bit. An experienced opponent will know just to tweak a little bit to the right or left so you can't lock the hold all the way through. But Thunder Rosa doing a good job of punishing that knee of Nyla Rose. Nice single leg crab here. Let's just stand up so might get a little more pressure on it. Such big quads does Nyla have, though. That's the thing. Rosa trying to mitigate the size advantage of Nyla Rose, trying to keep this contest on the mat. I think that's probably the, the best strategy that Thunder Rosa can employ. She's not going to really be able to match Nyla no. move for move. No, that's going to be super difficult. And I mean power move for power. Power, power. Yeah. No, I know what you meant. And, you know, it's, and I, I actually like the pacing that Rosa has. She's not, you know, get rushing into it. Like, oh, oh. Yeah, she didn't. She kind of did rush in. She rushed she in. Back off for a second. Though. Yeah, I think she was looking to, to seize on an opportunity. And you can see Nyla trying to work out the kinks. Thunder Rosa might have, might have tweaked her back. She's been knotting up that leg, man. Nyla's, you know, oh! If that back wasn't tweaked before, it is now. This is an absolutely must-see match. You see tournament participants Layla Hirsch and Maddie Renkowski sitting at ringside. 
They hit the showers and came right back out for this one. And you see Thunder Rosa getting that spine worked over. Yeah, you see Rosa now is in a lot of pain. Oh my God, a kick right in the face. Thunder oh. Rosa, last round, defeated the former AEW Women's World Champion, Riho. Oh, we just, as you mentioned, Rio. We saw that was a hell of a match. We saw Rosa put Rio through hell, and, and, and Rio put Rosa through hell. Yeah, and, and, and what a feather in the cap of Thunder Rosa it would be to defeat both of the former AEW Women's World Champions that's on a, her way to winning this tournament. That's a great point. That's a great point, Excalibur. You're right. That would be something. That I mean, that would almost not cement you, but really show the world oh, oh, what you're about. Diving body splashing. I, I mean, I think some, uh, victories like that would definitely make Thunder Rosa the favorite to win the tournament. And a diving splash to the back. Nyla hooks deep. No. Think about what Nyla's done already in this tourna a tournament. A nice victory over a very accomplished Ty Conte and a huge win, as we talked about a moment ago, over Britt Baker. Not the Britt Baker. Yeah, and so I mean, this is uh, whoever comes out with a victory on this side of the bracket, I think maybe goes into the overall final as a favorite. Though I, I don't want to, I wouldn't put my money on it. Yeah, I, I, I think you got to be careful with that. I know you're giving your opinion, and I, I respect it. But I think it, it's tough sometimes, especially late, late in tournaments like this. Where it's the women's world championship oh. at state, you know, on the line eventually here. Yeah, Taz, I think we might be putting the cart before the horse right. though right now because right now Thund oh, man. Thunder Rosa's spine being punished by Nyla Rose. You are not kidding. Covers. Rosa able to kick out. And I've had my back banged up in a match, and every time you kick out, the pain shoots through your glutes into your legs. It really, really hurts. Yeah, I mean, think think about if you you know you, you tweak your back around the house and you go to pick up something. Yeah, it, it it hurts. Now imagine you have a human being laying on top of you, trying with all their might to the pin you to the beast, mat. The yeah. native beast, you know, trying to beat you up. You know what I mean? Thunder Rosa sent into the corner. Oh! Oof. Nyla went for the spear. Used the quickness and spilled to the outside. Thunder Rosa. You can see very unsteady on those feet, Taz. Can't follow up. No, you're right. She can't follow up on the opportunity that she has because she moved out of the way. And Nyla crashed and burned. But a big clubbing strike by Nyla Rose. Thunder Rosa firing back with shots of her own. Head first. Nyla went into that top turnbuckle pad. Now that's a very thin layer of padding over that steel turnbuckle. Yeah, it's, it's, and that's where those ropes meet, those cables meet. It's ultra tight there. So that's a tough way for your head to land. Nyla on the outside, a little dazed, getting up to her feet, and Thunder Rosa, oh! And there was no painting, of course, with Thunder Rosa's face at that turnbuckle against Dr. Britt Baker. Oh, wait, Nyla, might have, she might have got hurt here. Referee Paul Hold Turner. A second. She might have got hurt. Paul Turner checking on Thunder Rosa. Good job by the official making sure. Yeah. Or excuse me, Paul Turner checking on Nyla Rose. Nyla might have gotten rattled when her head went. She's got to get back in the ring, and that's a good job by Paul Turner getting, you know, getting Rosa back in the ring. And uh, Paul Turner given the, uh, about to start the 10 count here. Nyla very slow to get up to her feet. Great job by Turner to uh, get opportunity to do for. Th oh, oh and maybe she was playing possible a bit. And we've known Nyla to to resort to some underhanded tactics in the past, has. Yeah, but I think that works. I like that strategy. There's nothing wrong with doing some old school playing possum, right? It's been done for years. Oh, it works. Possum's been doing it forever. <laughs> <laughs> Nyla Rose with the cover here. No. I think uh, I think that's exactly what Nyla was doing. She was preying on the the sympathies of Paul Turner, feigning an injury, and oh, the backbreaker once again, punishing the spine of Thunder Rosa. Look at just dealing with Rosa, oh. size difference just again across the knee, the, the upper quad, the, I should say the lower quad. But Rosa right now, look at the fight now. Some clubbing left-handed shots to the side of the head of Nyla. She wasn't rattled before. She is now. Such a big fight feel right now throughout this thing. Oh, Nyla though, the catch. Oh, God. And just spiked under Rosa covers one, two, no. 
Shows you how uh, important this is, right? How important it is to advance. Did you see that though, Taz? Thunder Rosa was gasping for breath after Nyla just spiked her in the center of the ring. And that's, you know, you know, Thunder Rosa has such tremendous conditioning, and so to see her in a position where she's struggling for breath, that is uh, it's a bit uncharacteristic. Yeah, well, it happens, right? And, and Nyla realizes that, and she's going for blood. She sees it in the water, and she's going for more. Nyla Rose up to the top rope, gets the leg oh, swept God. out, and her head clipped the top turnbuckle Whoa. on the way down. Rough landing right there. Rough landing. If Rosa can capitalize on that, that spill right there off the top of the ropes by Paul, Nyla. That'd be a good opportunity for her. Paul Turner giving the 10 count to both competitors. This match were to end in the draw, the winner of the Japanese bracket would be the overall winner. Neither woman wants to see that happen. Absolutely. And let's see both ladies to a vertical base right now. Oh, Thunder Rosa, big clothesline drops Nyla Rose. She's not done, dude. She's not done. Thunder Rosa, double knees to the chest. Nyla, she's got that intensity rocking right now. Nyla is in trouble. Rosa, drop kick. God. Might be done. Tell you what, it might be on the way to being done, I should say, for Nyla Rose. Be careful here, Rosa. Be careful. Don't take too big of a risk. Thunder Rosa up to the top. It missile was. drop kick. Big missile. Here we go. She's moving on. Cover here. No. Wow. Damn, that was close. Razor thin margin there on that kick out. Thunder Rosa with the momentum, but Nyla. Such a ferocious competitor, she can change the complexion of a match at a moment's notice. Oh, there we see. Couldn't get that suplex off. All that damage done to the lower back of Thunder Rosa. Coming into play right there. Oh no. She's uh -oh. got her right on that top rope. You know what's about to happen, dude. We've seen Nyla Rose drop the hammer before. Can she get up there? All the stuff oh. that's been happening, the yeah. offense. Nyla can't really spring up off that, that left leg. Thanks to all those kicks, Thunder Rosa laid in early in this matchup. Just Nyla, it. oh, the diving knee drop. Turn Thunder Rosa that's inside it. out. Oh my God, Thunder One, Rosa's out. two, no! Wow. How close. Both women. Fighting to win this U.S. bracket final. The winner will face Ryo Mizunami in the overall finals. And oh, look at that, Nyla dropping down to one knee. So Ryo, she is watching this for sure. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. She's trying to get, oh, she's oh, got her off. Thunder oh. Rosa, Death Valley driver. She's going to do it. She's going to do she's it, got Tam. She's one, got it. She's two, got it. She's no. Oh, wow. Oh my God, she's she's in hysterics. She's in tears. She's so frustrated that she didn't get it. Can't lose your composure, Dunn the Rose. You got to stay on this now. Nyla Rose being brought back up to her feet. Thunder Rose. Oh no, Nyla escapes. Waist lock here. Thunder Rosa, you can see putting the the, the shins on the thighs of Nyla. Hits the stunner. Great counter there by Thunder Rosa. Might be going suplex here. Oh! Backdrop suplex planted Nyla. Thunder Rosa hooks the far leg. Oh! Near fall after near fall. I tell you what, you got to tip your cap to Nyla Rosa. It shows how much, how bad she wants to move on and capture that <laughs> Women's World Championship and Two, get that opportunity. 2.99. For Thunder Rosa, but Nyla Rose proving once again she has the heart of the champion. She is not out of this fight yet. Thunder Rosa up to the top rope. I risk City right here. Oh, the oh, beast ball counter. No, she got Two, him. three. Here's your winner, the native beast, Nyla Rose. Wow, she just. Went a little too far, another high risk, and she got caught in Rosa. Wow, wow. Nyla Rose using that beast bomb 
to end the tournament hopes of Thunder Rosa. What a fight she put up, Rosa did though. What a fight she put up. And it will be Nyla Rose versus Rio Mizunami in the finals of the AEW Women's World Championship Eliminator Tournament with that winner, the winner of that match going to Revolution on Sunday, March 7th on pay-per-view to challenge Hikaru Shida. But before we get to Sunday and Revolution, Crossroads edition of AEW Dynamite, the Women's World Championship Eliminator Final, Nyla Rose versus Ryo Mizunami.